Okay, we're at Hankster's in Daytona Beach, Florida. And uh, I keep getting all kind of neat stuff thrown at me here that I don't know anything about. This is definitely not a muscle car, definitely not an exotic. It looks like a tank. And whatever it is, it's really, really heavy duty. So I'll try to go over it to the best of my ability here. One thing I do know, mechanically this thing has not been altered. It still has the original engine. There's no headers, no exhaust mod, nothing that I can see on the vehicle has been changed. Uh, the filter system and everything still appears to be all original. Uh, everything under the hood is just as though it left the factory in 1915. Try 2015. That, uh, that'll probably work a little better. Um, nice original V6 high output engine. Six speed manual transmission in it. Uh, we're going to go over the outside with you. There's not as much to cover on this particular vehicle as there is uh, a Camaro or a Roadrunner or a Chevelle, but we'll go around it to the best of our ability and I'll point out whatever I can uh, identify for you on it. So let's get started. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today our special guest is something that I absolutely know nothing about, but it's an 015 Jeep Wrangler Sport completely done over. I mean, this thing has so much money thrown at it, it's unbelievable. I'll try to go over it to the best of my ability. I really don't know anything about any off-road uh, uh, equipment, but I'll do my best on it. So let's get started on it. Paint on it obviously is all original yet. It's just, uh, it's just about ready to turn 30,000 miles right now. Uh, it is a, um, a Jeep Wrangler Sport. I'll try to point out uh, most of the uh, additions to this thing. It does have a huge jack it's bolted to the hood, which I had absolutely no understanding of until it was explained to me that with 35 inch, 35 by 1250 tires on it, the standard jack won't work and neither will the spare. So you need that jack to lift this thing up so that you can get the wheel and tire off of. That's why it's on the hood. There's nowhere else to put it. Uh, it has a real expensive remote control also. A wedge system on the front of it. The front bumper is about an eighth of an inch thick. It looks like something that belongs on a military vehicle. And again, all your hardware and everything appears to be stainless steel on this winch. Uh, it doesn't appear to have ever been used, to be honest with you. This thing was owned by an elderly gentleman. Uh, he and his wife had this as a vehicle down here in Daytona. And uh, they just recently traded it to us on a uh, Camaro convertible. So. We have it now at Hangsters, so uh, I'm going to try to sell it to you here. This I have no explanation for. Why you would want to cut off a third of the uh, lighting power of this, I have no idea. These are LED lights, though. I do know that every light bulb in this vehicle is an LED bulb, even your uh, turn signals and everything. Um, for whatever reason, I guess it kind of looks neat. kind of looks like eyebrows or something. but. Um, it is neat. Here's some trivia for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you ever look at a Jeep, there's always seven cuts in the grill. Always seven. And I, it was told to me years ago that the seven cuts represent the seven continents that these were deployed to uh, during wartime. So that's a little bit of trivia for you on Jeep. Anyway, a uh, huge sway bar in the front. Again, more LED lights for the uh, fog lights. It uh, has an aftermarket set of springs on it to give the uh, uh, body lift and uh, suspension lift in this, in this case. Um, all, the, uh, all the underpinnings on this vehicle were absolutely overdone. I, 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 I can't imagine there's any way that you could bend or break or anything that, that you could destroy anything that's on this vehicle. It's really, really a well done, well engineered piece of equipment. Again, the paint on the front end, it does have Wrangler on the sides, it has a jack on the hood, um, big huge LED bar across the top of the windshield, and two little guys, one on each side here in the corners, in, uh, offset from the mirrors. Uh, again, LEDs in the front for the headlights, the parking lights, the fog lights. Over the top Jeep in the front, let's go down the side see what we find. Okay, down the driver's side of our uh, Jeep uh, Wrangler. Um, normally these have plastic fender lips on them, kind of a cheap, malleable plastic fender lip. These appear to be wrinkle finished steel or aluminum. I'm not sure what, 
what it is, but it's definitely metal with a, a round beaded edge on it so you don't get cut on it. It has aluminum uh, fender inner panels on it, fog shocks front and rear, um, 35, 12, 50 tires on it, uh, BFGs obviously. Uh, again, our sport designation, Wrangler. Um, there's some kind of bracketry that goes up that's also uh, wrinkle finish black that houses your uh, light bar and the little guys down here on the sides. Tinted glass front and sides in this vehicle. There's no marks whatsoever on the sides of this vehicle, absolutely none. Uh, we're not going over it like a Camaro or anything, there's not that much to go over here, but you can see that the car's never suffered any trauma whatsoever. I mean, it is as it was body-wise when it left the factory with the modifications that you see done to it. Uh, convertible top, obviously, and it also has some kind of a liner in it, some kind of sunscreen liner. That's kind of neat. Uh, again, you can see once we get underneath here that um, it's never been off-roaded or anything. The uh, frame, all the underpinnings, everything in it is just as it was when it left the factory. Blacked out wheels with wheel locks on them. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you about the sides of this. It's just a, a really fox shocks in the back. Also uh, bigger springs in the back to match the ones in the front. Uh, it's a great vehicle down the sides. There's no dents or dings or anything that are evident that I can see at all on the vehicle. It's a nice vehicle. Um, the plastic in the uh, top is still clear. Huge set of tires on it. Let's see what's on the back. Okay, the back end of our Jeep, obviously soft top, and again, the plastic is nice all around it. Um, LED lights, a uh, block-off plate where the spare tire used to be housed, from what I can see, the, the tire that would have been a spare on this thing would have been half the size of what's on it now, so it have been totally useless to you, so I guess they just did away with it. Bumper in the back matches the one in the front, it's some kind of armor steel, it's about an eighth of an inch thick. It has a couple of tow hooks on one on each side. And by the way, there are tow hooks in the front also underneath. Uh, class 3 hitch on it. Uh, you know, again, this thing is just as heavy duty and as well put together as you could possibly hope. Uh, it's never been torsionally twisted or anything. If you look at the doors, the gaps on them, uh, and the deck in the back, the uh, tailgate, whatever you want to call it, I guess. Um, same way, the gaps are real nice on it, so this thing's had no torsional twist to it to uh, uh, disrupt its integrity. Let's see what's on the passenger side. Okay, same deal down the passenger side. The paint on this car is all original and it's absolutely stunning. And again, if you look at the uh, gap on the door, it's the same as the other side. Again, no torsional twist, no distortion of any type on it. Uh, everything is super, super clean under this vehicle. Again, a nice uh, shiny silver fox shock on it. Couple more huge tires on this side. Uh, tinted glass. It's <laughs> it's a heavy, heavy duty vehicle. Really, really nice beach cover type vehicle. Again, the uh, aluminum uh, fender inner liner, fog shock as you can see. Uh, big heavy tow hooks off of the uh, frame section that. Uh, it's integral with the, uh, the, the front bumper at this point now. Uh, the car is just absolutely gorgeous around. Uh, and you can see there's no torsional twist or anything to it. It's a great looking Jeep. Uh, it makes somebody a really neat toy. It's not lifted to the point where, you know, it, it's, you can't get inside of it without steps or something, you know. But it does have a nice lift, a nice look, a lot of quality, very, very low miles, and a six-speed with a high output engine, a great runner vehicle. Okay, we're in our 015 Jeep Wrangler with the lift kit, the fancy beach comber mobile here. Uh, it does have a set of aftermarket seat covers that were put on when the car was new, so the original interior has really never been sat on. The original bucket seats are under here, they're totally undisrupted, uh, no dirt, no filth, no nothing on them. The back seat I doubt very much has ever been used. Uh, it has a sound bar type system, roll bar type uh, thing that goes across here. It does have this sunscreen stuff that you can see through it, kind of. So apparently when you put the top down, if you leave this up, it kind of shades you a little bit. It's called sunshade, I think. Um, sounds like a good idea, I guess. You know, I could see where it would work. It does have a roll bar in it. It has power steering, power brakes, uh, tilt wheel. Uh, 
uh, air conditioning, uh, AM, FM, CD player, some kind of citrus radio, um, power windows, power door locks, six-speed transmission, four-wheel drive. The books are in the glove compartment. I know that for sure. The original pouch, the original Jeep uh, pouch with the books in it yet. Uh, WeatherTech uh, floor mats in it. Uh, rhino lining on the inside uh, of the floors instead of just being painted. Someone has taken the time to take it and rhino line it and then put the uh, WeatherTech mats on it. Um, this thing is as new a vehicle as you're ever going to find. Cup holders, parking brake. It's just an undisrupted, as new uh, vehicle. I've never driven it. We're going to go in a, a minute here and uh, take a run in it and look underneath it and show you that underneath of this thing is just as clean as it is on top. And it's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. Well, has a compass. Tells us we're going east at this point. Uh, 75 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. It has all the gauges functioning, speedometer, tack, uh, fuel, which is really getting down there. It's about empty. Uh, temperature gauge, really know, will be coming up. Uh, radio that does play. Uh, air conditioning is blowing icicles. Uh, really, really nice vehicle. No marks or anything on the leather steering wheel or any any. Nothing on the inside, no defects. I don't see anything at all on this thing. It looks like the day it left the factory. Doors lock automatically. That's what that clunk was. Tires going whoop 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 because of the off road tread, you'll hear that. Which, by the way, the tires are all new in this vehicle. Or as new. Wow. It's just, there's a lot of extra stuff on this thing. Yeah, it gets right up there. Plenty of horsepower to pull this thing. Rig. Can't find anything wrong with it. I mean, look, it, it goes down the road. No hands. Goes down the road straight as an arrow. Well, we're underneath our 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sport with the lift kit. Great big, huge mumbo gumbo tires on it. Uh, Fox shocks. All kind of neat, neat toys all over this thing. I mean, everywhere you look, it just reeks money that somebody threw into it. Uh, it, it. It is mechanically as it left the factory. No one has altered the exhaust system or any mechanicals in the engine or rear axles or anything. The thing runs absolutely exemplary. There are no issues, no problems with it. Obviously, four-wheel disc brakes on these the way they came from a factory. Set of aftermarket springs. I don't know whether the Evoc or whoever's kit they use for this. Polyurethane bumpers and bushings. Fox shocks. Heavy duty front rear. High output six cylinder engine that came with it. Six speed Mopar transmission. You can see the undercarriage of this vehicle. It's never been off roaded. It, it's, it, it's, it's just absolutely as clean and nice 
as the day it left the factory. There's no deterioration or corrosion on any of the bolts or nuts or any of the fasteners underneath here. The exhaust system isn't uh, discolored or, or blackened up or anything. Uh, insides of the frame, alongside the frame, is all just as perfect as could possibly be. There's no jack marks or anything on it anywhere. Skid plate underneath the uh, transfer case. Skid plate, there's a skid plate there for something. I don't know what the heck that's for. Well, there's a skid plate next to the muffler for something, or a resonator in this case. It does have a transverse muffler in the rear. Uh, but there is a skid plate there for one reason or another. It does have a big skid plate underneath the uh, fuel tank. The thing is just absolutely brand new underneath. There's uh, really not too much to talk about under here. It's a uh, uh, 015 Jeep that's just uh, never been uh, abused in any way. Uh, it's a great vehicle. Uh, big fat tread on the tires. Uh, let's see what's on the second half because everything under the... Uh, from the middle of the vehicle up is just absolutely the way it was when it left the factory and uh, uh, no modifications done other than suspension but mechanically there's been or exhaust there's been no modifications done to it perfect no marks no dings no nothing let's see what we got okay second half of our uh, 015 Jeep Beachcomber uh, the same as the front half I mean there's absolutely no marks whatsoever on the framework anywhere or the suspension arms uh, the rear axles, there's never been any dirt or anything splashed up anywhere. Again, polyurethane bushings, uh, aftermarket springs, lift kit, fog shocks in the rear. Uh, all new uh, lengthened uh, hardware for the uh, disc brakes front and rear because of the lift kit uh, on this vehicle. Uh, original equipment, uh, Mopar muffler, a transverse muffler in the rear. Drive shaft, everything on this vehicle is uh, as it was when it left the factory, other than the uh, modified suspension and uh, components that you see, uh, the front and rear bumpers, everything on the outside. I know that Rich used it for a few days, and we literally had to pry his fingers off of it to get it off of him. He said that it ran absolutely flawless. Everything in it worked, uh, went down the road as nice as could possibly be, as straight as could possibly be. Tons of power with this high output six. It is a six-speed also. There's not an issue with this vehicle. Plus, I'm pretty sure since it's a Chrysler, it's still covered. It's only it's going to be right at 30,000 miles here soon. So it should still be covered under major medical. So if there's any issues with it, I'm sure Jeep will take care of them for you. But great vehicle. A lot of nice look to it.